One of the, the major things we, we want to try and do when we're designing a rocket or an engine to use in space is we want it to be able to uh, carry as much payload uh, where it's going. So payload is the thing we're trying to get there. So it's usually the spacecraft. Um, so if we can get a bigger spacecraft to Mars, we can do a lot more science, do a lot more exploration. So when we're trying to optimize something in engineering, um, the, the most important thing first is to figure out what it is you're trying to make better. So for um, a rocket, uh, you might try to optimize the amount of uh, payload or the size of the spacecraft you can launch into Earth orbit. The next step, once you've figured out what you're trying to optimize, you want some understanding of what you might change in your design to optimize for the size of the spacecraft you're trying to launch. And so you could just test a whole bunch of different things, but generally you want to start with some understanding. So you want to sort of brainstorm or look at uh, physics or look at different equations to figure out what variables you would change in order to optimize uh, your engineering design. And so once you've narrowed down to the few different factors that you want to look at, when you're doing testing, you want to change those things one at a time. So if you're changing all of your factors all at once, you don't know which thing it was that made your rocket better. So for example, for rockets, you might do type of fuel. So you keep your whole rocket the same and you just change the fuel and then you see how big of a spacecraft you can get into orbit. And you can see which fuel uh, kind of did the best job at optimizing. And then you might pick uh, a different factor. So um, what your rocket's made of, the material that your structure's made of. Maybe it's made of aluminum or a composite material or some other fancy material. Um, and you would change those one by one and see how that affects uh, the outcome of your design. So another important part when you're doing testing of an engineering design is you have to make sure that it's going to survive or last um, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. So for example, if you have an engine on your rocket and it has to burn for five minutes to get your spacecraft into orbit, you always want to test it for even longer. So if you're expecting it to burn for five minutes, you might test it on the ground for 10 minutes to make sure that nothing breaks and that it, it fully functions for the entire 10 minutes. And then you know that when you go to launch your spacecraft, and that only takes five minutes, that you should be covered. You don't always want to test it till it breaks, uh, but it, that's a good point also, that you test something until it breaks and then you learn how long it could stand for. So if you ran your rocket engine test for 30 minutes and it took that long before something broke on it, you knew that you could uh, run it in real life for maybe not the full 30 minutes, but close to that without it breaking.